time my cauldron cakes and they shared them in the common room. I think they mistook salt for sugar, mind you. Half eaten cakes everywhere for days they were. They really shouldn't allow food and drinks in the common room. Stepped in a puddle of butter beer the other day. Better than a failed potion, I suppose. Harry Pippin certainly steered me right with that wound cleaning potion. Is potion shops better than you'd find in London, I reckon? Frankly, I'd rather limit my excursions to Hogsmeade these days. Too much distraction. I'd like to open a shop in Hogsmeade myself one day. Glad Rags could do with some competition. I can appreciate Hogsmeade all year round. But there's nothing like it after a fresh snowfall. Did you get your bit of root from Pippin's, or did you pick it yourself? Oh, I'm desperately in need of something. Professor Black glanced at me the other day in the Great Hall. I spit out my breakfast. Not sure it sent the right message. <sighs> Good thing Professor Weasley takes her role seriously, since Black clearly has no interest in his. It's good Black's children are too young to attend Hogwarts. <laughs> I'd hate it if my father was headmaster. Black noticed the scuff on his shoe the other day and would not take another step until a house elf polished it away for him. Horrid man. Professor Weasley must be exhausted doing her job as well as the headmaster's. We're lucky to have her. How much longer do you think Black will be headmaster? I have family in America. wonder if I could transfer to Ilvermorny and come back when he's gone. I'm uncomfortable with the size of my face. <sighs> Well, you were asking the other day, so I'm telling you. All well, I can say is, don't look inside my notebooks. I was distracted by peeves and ran face first <sighs> into Adelaide Oaks the other day. Our books went flying. I think it made peeves this entire week. Got called on to read out loud in History of Magic the other day. <sighs> Stumbled over all the words. I think I even bored bins. And that's saying something. Well, my father naturally assumed <sighs> I'd be a strong seeker, just like you. <sighs> I say thank Merlin, but it was cancelled. In Transfiguration, I switched the writing ink with Fobberworm Eagers. I thought it to be funny, and it was. To me. Sharp caught me making faces behind his back. It was awful. Not to mention losing so many house points. <sighs> Tried to summon the pepper at dinner last week, and dropped a pudding into our prefect's lap. Not sure who felt it more. Me or her. Time to trade in my Oak Shaft 79 for a newer model. I met some of my best friends in flying. Nothing creates a bond like thinking you're all about to die. Wonder what Kagawa thinks of Quidditch being cancelled. Bet she's fuming. The Chudley Cannons are going to be unbeatable next season. You just wait and see. There are some impressive new brooms at Spint Witches. I practiced doing a loop the loop on my broom all summer. What a waste of time. That Ray's girl thinks she can fly better than anyone. All talk, if you ask me. My brother promised me his old broomstick once he's saved up for a new one. I can't wait. I just know we we're finally going to win the Quidditch Cup this year. <sighs> I miss going to matches. Cheering everyone on was magnificent. All right, I hate to interrupt these two having a lovely <laughs> chat. <laughs> but it's time to get started. I've been itching all day to play. After I woke up, finally. Actually, I had a, I only a, a four hour sleep after we got off uh, yesterday morning. Or this morning, anyway. All right. One second. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, everyone. I guess. I've got my crazy hair on today. I don't have my headband, just the crazy hair. Got my hair on. Um. We've got a few people in chat. Hello. Hello, Galarik. Ben's, Ben's there too, apparently. Somewhere. And uh, some lurkers in the background. That's good to see. Uh, we've got a couple of things. I've uh, made a few changes today and did a little bit of homework on it. I've got a whiteboard here. I've got a whiteboard thing here. Oh, I think it's better there. With some stuff to do to go through. Graphics-wise. 
graphics wise i'm running it in performance mode now and it's going to be so much better it actually is just so much better uh the game plays so smooth you wait till you see it. it'll be so much smoother than last night hopefully we won't have the technical issues move away from these two for a sec hopefully we won't have the technical issues that we had last night uh i've done a little bit of research and homework on that too so that should be a little bit sorted i picked a bad shirt today the collar's all done um and outfits we're gonna check out some outfit stuff because we can actually transmog them and change them around a little bit so let's get cracking into the game oh, people can just join when they join if they join uh but uh yeah the game if you notice runs so much smoother now look at that Ooh, so good uh and what else we got an yeah we got a letter we got an owl sent us a letter last night so we can check that go in and check that now owl post might just uh my camera will be fine there that just says owl post to anyone that's worried uh if it only if i only take up one little spot on the screen i'm okay with it let's move that over there okay right so the owl post we got from fig Professor Fig, come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found in, at Gringotts. Okay. We'll do that. We'll go and check. Uh, we'll go and check in with Professor Fig at some point. Um, gear. The next thing on the list is gear. Now we can actually do, I've actually got, you can do hood on and off, which is pretty cool. That's a really cool little option. So we'll take that off for now because we're running our lovely hat. And we can also do change appearance. Now, this is where my DLC stuff comes in. So early access uh, deluxe edition, we can put uh, these um, dark arts robes on. They look pretty cool, don't they? The way they do that with the Death Eater stuff all over them. And this is the DLC one I got for um, doing the stuff online on the um uh, on the potiverse yeah on the potiverse and this is our uh house house robes i guess so we're gonna run the house robes for a little bit i think but you can do it you can customize everything if you don't like the look of something like uh, we've got these gloves on at the moment but i've actually chosen to have them set to no gloves all right because everything adds uh, armor armor levels or performance ratings like attack defense that sort of stuff so so we should find the best ones we should actually find the best stuff for our guy now these are a defense am i in the way of the defense no no defense these are down a few offense so we'll take we'll leave these ones on but we will run them as no gloves for the moment. We don't need gloves. Uh, we've got a handle. We've got our specs now. Do I want to change these? Have we got something that might have? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll run those. And <laughs> these are like Mad Eye Mooney um, goggles. So we'll change those out to actually look like. Uh, we've got lots, lots in here. We've got the Death Eater ones that I got with the DLC. There's a couple just behind me that you won't be able to see, but I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, they're just regular glasses, I think. Oh, there are spectacles we had on. We can put those back on. Uh, and we've got outfits in here as well that you can change the look of. So that's Prefect Vest Uniform or Stylish Vest Uniform. We'll just run those. There's also Dark Arts. We'll run... We'll try and pick up some stuff and do it today. And the other thing that I've got on my whiteboard there is puzzles. So I want to have a look at today as well. All right. So we've got a lot to crack into. That is for sure. Uh, we don't, we can't do skill levels yet or anything. So we'll, we'll wait till we get into a bit of that. All right. But our main ta Hey, that's the only headless Nick. So the sound should be well in sync now. It should be perfectly lined up as opposed to last night. Oh, yep, fair enough. Eaten. 
So let's check. We'll talk to Professor Pig. That's our only quest, is it, at the moment? Check our quests. Frost Wands round one. Talk to Lucian Brattleby. Ah, oh, that's the dueling club. Gotcha. Um, I'll wait till a little bit to check that out. We might actually just run a bit of a poll to see who wants to do what with that as we get on, kick on in the episode today. But we'll go the Locket's Secret first, which we've got lined up. We may as well progress a little bit, see if we can get our broom today as well. Many of your parents were Gryffindors. Oh, the stories I could tell you. Please do tell us some stories. But yeah, the game runs so much better. I've made it probably a touch too bright. Uh, settings. Just go here and knock the brightness down just a touch. Back to where it was. Oh, itchy ear. Okay. Didn't really do anything, did it? All right, so we're gonna go up these, uh, down these stairs, right? But yeah, the game absolutely runs so much better now. All those new down here. Oh, there's so much to see and do. Just like the little interactions between all the NPCs as well. Very good. Now, artists, let us begin. Oh, chest. Revelio. We want to try and get as much stuff as we can around the place as well. Ooh, something to think. Ah. Right, what's this? Build guide page update. Map of Argleshire. Argleshire. I don't know if I did that right. It depicts Argleshire, a region of Scotland which contains the. Um... Okay, cool. Uh, and I forget that we got this charm thing which shows us where to go to. That's really cool. Revelio. What was that? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's for that statue. Statue, bro. Lachlan the Lanky. The statue depicts the wizard Lachlan the Lanky, our, a tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself. For what precisely? No one knows. <laughs> Look how tall and lanky he is. He's actually really skinny, isn't he? Oh, that's funny. Revelio. All right. So we can't do any locks yet. I assume we'll learn that today at some point. The old Alohomora for lock picking. Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can here. plunge the boys' lavatory, not for the meek. Okay. Oh, we haven't been on this bridge yet. This is nice. Wow. Can't wait to get the broom still. Do some exploring. This game. Oh, I've just been itching to play all day. Revelio. Ooh. Well, that's going to be something, I reckon, later. All right, cool. Defense against the Dark Arts Tower. Hey, kitty. There's so much going on in the background. One sec, guys.
Okay. I think sound should be alright. I think we should be well in sync. Right, so... Fig, where are you, buddy? Upstairs, by the looks of it. He's going to talk to us about the uh, thing, the trinket we found. Rebellion. Look at this, these tapestries and stuff. This place is just so massive. Professor Pig's classroom. Blue Flame's location unlocked. Ah. Okay. This classroom looks very familiar. Oh, this is so good. Revelio. Nothing, nothing in here worth uh, revealing. All right, Fig, what do you got for us, buddy? Oh, you got a chest. We'll get that first. Oh, unbeatable Quidditch gloves. Don't think they're going to be as good as ours. All right. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Uh, sir, about the goblins at Speaking Gringotts. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, yeah, to be look precise, at that. and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. <laughs> Shall we go? I appreciate Let's your see. enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Okay, Professor Pig. Quest complete. The locket's secret. All right. Man, I'm ready to delve into this tonight. What's this little glowing monkey you've got here? Don't know. He's got a lot of globes in his office. Perhaps I'll come back to this. Okay. So, Heckwit. Hecket? Professor Hecket. Professor Khan Hecket. See what I did? See what I did there? Push that up there for a sec. Uh, okay, back down this way. So once again, I'm still going to sort of run around a bit just so I can get used to the castle so we can unlock a lot of stuff, collect things. Don't want to just fast travel everywhere at the moment. Too much to see. Rebellion. Something's tingling. My spidey sense is tingling. 
Oh my god, there's more cats. This must be like Catville around here. All right, you can have one too. There's got to be an achievement for cats. I swear there has to be. <laughs> there has to be a cat patting achievement. Come on, game. I feel like that's like 30 cats I've pet right now. Ah, this way. The game, though, on this performance mode, and I did a few changes to the sensitivity of the uh, controller. So good. Matty G. <laughs> I can just picture the way you were saying that too. Hey, pa. No, I haven't met him. Uh, it's it's probably a hundred years too early before we meet Harry. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to a bit of uh, trucking sim, Maddie. Hey, um, can you just tell me, Maddie, while you're there, is the uh, is it all sounding okay? I did a lot of uh, setup changes this afternoon to make it in sync and working properly. Revelio. All right. Well, we don't have time to come back. This gives. Oh. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Crystal clear. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I had so much troubleshooting I did today. I spent like three hours troubleshooting it. I'll have a cup of tea. The game's running really smooth now too, which I'm really happy about. Last night it was all... Uh, I had it on fidelity mode and everything, which was not good for the PlayStation. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Oh, all right, champ. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from a fight. Slytherin. Technology, I know, eh? Top of tea. Uh, this way. Let's do some sprinting. Oh, this is Professor Heck. Oh, there's something up there. Rebellion. We have some matters to discuss. Obradine Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales. Cool. What, in 1887 did that say? Alright, Hecate, what do you got for us? I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Those who shall not be his name, right. I assume. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Roger, Dodger. You know where to find me once you've finished. So we've got to do these tasks again. Okay. It looks like there's a chest somewhere around here. Revelio. Must be under us. I think it must be under us. Or we've Since already got Christ it. Since Cross isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Win two rounds of crossed wands. Complete a round of spell combination practice with Lucian Brattleby. Okay. This should be straightforward. We beat him once already. We'll go undefeated. I really hope... I was really hoping there'd be a nasty character in it, like uh, Malfoy. Revelio.
haunted toilets. Unless the dire straits, it's probably best to avoid this particular toilet as it's allegedly one of the peevers' favorite pranking spots. <laughs> you don't want to be sitting on the loo. Ooh, level seven. And cop a, uh, copy old splash back. I just want to keep exploring. There's just so much to see and look at. Who's saying that? Glad you can make Clock it. Tower Luke courtyard. Just over there. Akio. No. Nope. Nice. Oh, that's how the meter, the level meter goes up. It fills up with blue inside it. Lovely. All right, here we go. What's, what's going? Oh, we got a bit of a crowd too. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I beat him. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Sure. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, I'll take him on step myself. Into the ring. I'm ready. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! <laughs> Let the fireworks begin! Let's go. will make you regret signing. I'm going to knock that silly cap off your head. Okay, break yellow, break through yellow shields with control spells like levitation spell because they match colors. Target lock. Let's you track enemies with aim. Okay. Yeah, I got this. We did this last time. Charge build up. Victory. It's actually a little bit more in depth than you'd think. You really got a lot to nice work. manage. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well Thank fought. You. Thank you. Hope to see you back here again. Right. Uh, I had to do another duel, I think, didn't I? I'll wait over here for you, will I?
Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready for another I'm round. Ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Uh, hmm. Let's bring Natsy into it. See what yes, she does. Natsy. Then let's get to it. Just wrote Natsy into the ready club. To get thrashed. Oh, bring it on. Apologies in advance. There's three of them. Come on, Natsy, we got this. Ah, oh, I'm targeting the wrong person. We'll take one of them out. That's powerful, that stupid part. I always get down to the last bit of health before I can get the gist of it. Take some of her health down. Oh no! Come on, Nancy. For the team. Oof. Glad I didn't <laughs> bet on you that round. Catch, go again. Yes. I got the gist of that a little bit too late. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. This is super fun. Okay, I've got to get better at this dueling. Descendo! Let me go. Good, let's go. We got him now. Victory! More people can't watch the duels. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, round of applause. Bravo! We nailed him I that one. My all. You did indeed. The first the one was just knock the rust off. Of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Challenge Hope accepted. To see you then. All right, the next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Ah, oh, the gobstones. Right, complete a practice for the brow. Okay. My controller Hello, is going so nuts dummy. at the moment. Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. 
Ah. Lumos. Repair us. Next time, perhaps. That wants me to do the blue one next, does it? Accio. Repair us. Hang on, it wants me to do something I can't do yet, I don't think. Rebellious. You'll get it. Hang on, there's a spell here that's I don't think quite right. Uh would it be under? No, it's not under that. There's a thing where all your spells are. Where is that? Or am I just not reading which is the right spell? Ah, oh, right. Okay, it's just regular. Nicely done. Gotcha. Let me gotcha. Excellent fall. Let me Accio. Right. Yeah, that was getting tougher. That's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fierce controller now. This controller is just non-stop vibrating. I might have to turn that off. It's just going mental. Assignment's all finished. Oh, there we go. In the menu, that sorted it. No, it's still going. I might have to turn the vibration off. It just keeps going non-stop. Um, that's better. I kind of wanted the vibration on, but it was just... I think it was just a bit bugged. Uh, okay. Rebellion. Right, what's this uh, area out here? Oh, I know this courtyard. This is the way they... This is the bridge. This is the one that never blew up. Oh, oh, cool. Okay. The Well of Four Beasts. Some students believe that a wish made over the Well of Four Beasts, whether near the Thestral, Griffin, Chimera, or Hippograph, will come true for one who has gained the trust of any of the four. We'll remember that when we get our first beast. Okay, let's get back to Hecate. We could try the old fast uh, travel system, but I'm kind of just enjoying uh, running around for the moment. Across this bridge. There's bridges everywhere at Hogwarts. I didn't know there were so many bridges in the place. Oh, the old violin music's playing. Back to Hecate's class. I trust Mr. Brattleby was... I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. <laughs> Let us begin. And remember... Focus on Incendio. the proper wand movement. Right. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Easy. Not exactly a hard one. You have now learned enough spells that you need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different spell. Good work. 
This is what I was looking for before. Okay, I think um, we'll put it there for the moment. I'll keep Lumos handy. I wish you could like switch the like in some games when they have that system, you can actually switch those hot bars out pretty quick. All right, have we received some cool gear for doing what we're doing? Looks like we have. We got those gloves before. Eight offense. They're eight offense. They're level six though. Oh, they do look car. Uh, they do look Quidditch like, don't they? Ah, we'll leave them on for a bit. Uh, collections. Yep, okay. There is something in here. Uh, was that challenges? I think it was, wasn't it? Quest. Okay. Claim rewards. Cool. We got a scarf. Okay, we got that. Uh, I can't get that yet. Oh, we can get those. Legendary gloves. Oh, legendary cape. Stop it. Right. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, we got heaps of gear to check out. Okay. Do we not? No, did we not just unlock gear? Maybe it's just visual, is it? Ah, it's just visual. Oh, they, they match our robes. Yeah, yeah, put those on. More glasses and stuff. Okay. Didn't get any headwear then, did I? Uh, we got this. Yes, our Gryffindor scarf, is it? Yeah, we'll put that on. Matches our outfit with our bowler hat. Perfect. Right, next quest. Secrets of the Restricted Section. Find Fig's book. Take that. Oh. Incendiary. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Ah, oh, there's a cooldown. Right. Cooldown sort of thing. Return to Professor Biggs, Biggs classroom. Cool, cool, cool. They're playing on the mar on their own. I was hoping to have a cup of tea. I'd wager it was something to do with his time as an aura. Okay. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. All right, Plumley, what do you got Hello. for me? Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. All right. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. 
Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Ah, we just came from there. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back we'll here if you find now. anything. I really like your uh, glasses there, Plumley. All right. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, that I think I've seen that. Dragon statue outside somewhere. Then there's a door thing. And then, okay, we've got to use that on that picture, which is out there. All right, so we got. Let's go to Hecate's class and start from there. I like these little puzzle quests. Okay, back to Hecate. See if I can remember my way back. What's this purple area here? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Ah, I can't unlock it. That wasn't the way we came from. We actually came from this way to it. Ah, down here. All right, Hecate's is. No, I don't know where Hecate's is. I think it's down this way. I've already got myself lost. Let's track. Uh, are we tracking that? Okay, so trophy room, lower ground. Okay, not that one. That's the great hall. So oh. I don't know if we just went out of sync or not. I'll just do a test. No, we didn't. Did the stream just drop out for everyone then? I don't know what just happened. I think we're okay. You guys can let me know if the stream's uh, out of sync or not, but I think it's okay. Right. Uh, Hecate's place. That's what we want. Where is Hecate's? Clock Tower Courtyard. No, 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 no. Got to be back up this way, hasn't it? I've already got myself lost. Ah, here we go. Uh, base classroom, flying class, lawn. No, no, I don't want any of those. There's a world map? Whoa. No way. No way. It's if that's what if that's the area we've just explored. I wonder if like out these areas will be DLC kind of areas, maybe. Wouldn't that be good? Okay, back to Hogs Hogwarts, thanks. I need Astronomy Wing. Charms, Defense Against the Dark Art. That's what we just did, wasn't it? Cool. Did our first uh, fast travel. And then that's Hecate's classroom in there, isn't it? I've got myself lost. Oh no, it's up here. Is it not?
Uh... No, that's... Oh my gosh, I've got every classroom but the one I want. Try it this way. What is what this are you picture? Up to now? Revelio. I'm so lost. I know I like it's familiar, but at the same time, I'm in the wrong spot for where I want to be. Can I just track the classroom, please? Right, let's try that. Classroom, not the actual tower. Ah, there we go. That's better. Alright, so it's said to start. He said start at... The first clue shows a rhinoceros skeleton on display. I know I must have walked by that at least a dozen times now. If only I could remember where it is. He said to start at Hecate's. Ah, there it is. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. Mm -hmm. I'm on the right track. It looks as if I'm supposed to find a dragon fountain. The tree in the background makes me think it's in the courtyard. A door behind it has been circled. Uh, bring up that, please. Will that be in inventory? What's the rhino got to do with the courtyard? This is not good for just not knowing exactly where I am at the moment. Rebellion. Oh, take that. Serpentine beast window. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow tribute to their founder, it's actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of legendary green man. Okay, cool. All yeah, right. Whoa, it's tall. Whoa, it's massive. Okay, the courtyard must be straight out here then. Hey, hey. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Okay, and then there's supposed to be some doorway or picture around here. Doesn't help that it's getting dark. Lumos. I don't think uh, we're allowed to be out of class. I mean, out of the uh, out of bed late at night. Right. It looks like it's at the back side of it, behind the tree. So this way, behind that tree. Dalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Um. Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. 
If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Accio! Revelio! Accio! Rebellion. Oh, looks promising. Revelio. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Accio! Ah, <laughs> there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. I did have the mic on, I apologize. That was really cool. I did a lot of talking then. <laughs> I did about five minutes worth of talking with no mic. Uh, good morning, friendo. Uh, I did. I was just saying I did a lot of work off stream today to get this, uh, to get the uh, stream looking really, running really smoothly. It's running so good today. I've done some uh, edit, like um, performance changes to it. And... Um, yeah, looking a lot better. And I did some work to the streams software stuff to make sure it was all synced up. So we're running all right today. An hour in, no problems, except for the fact that I just had my mic off for five minutes. <laughs> Lucky, because you probably would have heard me burp from the Pepsi Max. What do you miss? Well, we sort of just, we went, we've learnt Incendio. So we went to the dueling thing. We did some dueling. Uh, we've learnt Incendio. Incendio. And we just picked up a little side quest from one of the students to track down this little bit of treasure where we unlocked this portrait up here. And uh, we found a little chest where we got this this uh, coat out of. So we uh, we opened up this portrait and I led into this little secret room. And we have another little portrait to do here as well. If you are, uh, the games, if you notice, is running so much better than last night. 
Okay. Nelly mentioned hearing a dandelion key in the astronomy tower. I'm sure I can find it if I look around and listen. Let's go to the astronomy tower. Well, if that's the astronomy tower... Uh, what's... I'm sort of sitting in the way of some of this. Venomous Valor. Talk to Duncan. Okay, that's another side quest. Wow, we're getting a lot of side quests here. All right, well, we'll just follow the little yellow dotted lines to take us up there, shall we? Or is that too... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because um, it's running in full 60 frames now. I've taken it out of fidelity mode. We're running in performance mode, and it's just running so smooth, isn't it? The cameras, so I've changed the um, sensitivity on the cameras as well, and the um, controller. Rebellion. I know where we were. We fixed the statue last night. Okay, up here. What is this? Oh, no. That's to do a quest. We'll pick that up another time. If it's not there now, we'll pick it up another time. We'll do things as they progress on. I did see a picture of the game in full snow, so we must go through seasons as well in this game. I'm absolutely... I've been itching all day to play. just waking up. Wow, good time to wake up. Did I get this already? Akio. Levioso. Akio. Yep, that's not a thing. Twelve and fifteen, three to go of those. So that'll be really good. Um the werewolves joined the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say She's teaching the young ones. For the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flat? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot, and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Good luck with that. I love just like being able to stop and listen to what the NPCs are saying. Oh, one of these. Thirteen. It's Leviosa. very quiet around the castle at night time, isn't it? Everyone's in bed. We're just running around, doing what we want. Oh, look at that. No wonder why it's called the Astrology Tower. Makes sense. Hello, Nearly Headness. Revelio. That was cool. This tapestry depicts the wizards, Bernabas, and Barmies. Foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. <laughs> One can only imagine the impact on the arts uh, if he succeeded. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, we're here. Revelio.
Oh, look at this spooky little area up here. Creepy. A Dedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Follow that key. Revelio. Where'd it go? How nice to see you, my young friend. My dears, that I have a yati. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at, uh, what is it? Can Cranbridge? Cambridge? Cambridge. Cambridge. Who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understa understanding of the meteor showers. It seems that the Irish astronomer and British astronomers both built up the work done by Italian astronomer. All muggles mind as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbits as mean uh, connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with their enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using my pseudonyms from the day I get... Uh, yeah, like, we don't need to read any more of that. Cool. Astronomy stuff. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Uh <laughs> oh, he slapped it. Ah. Wait till it lines up. Ah, damn it. That's it. Yes, nailed it. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Okay, we'll take that to Nelly at some point. Look at this place. This is the Where's astrology that? tower. Anything else in here worth noting or taking or reading? Oh, look at that. That's really cool. This place really is magical. Uh, let's go. Adventure, are we? Let's go sleep. Let's go back to our dorm and sleep. So. We are in. Are we in the bell tower wing? No. We're in the south wing. Gryffindor common room, please. I wonder if we can sleep. Is that a thing? Or do you just have to go to spots and, um... What's up these stairs? I can't go up oh. there. Oh. <laughs> no way! Seems that's off limits to What's me. What's that way? What's up there? Okay. Uh... And are we up? No, we're down. The other students aren't in their bed. Read mail. Oh, we've read this. Is that all we've got? That's all we've got. We've read that. So, can we go to bed or not? Can we go to bed or not? Doesn't look like it. Okay, uh, let's, um, hmm. Return to Nelly then. Uh, this way. Let's fast travel to Nelly. We don't have to run everywhere. Oh, we've got nothing unlocked here, have we? Damn it. Yeah, we do. There we go. Okay. 
Let's go see Nelly Furtado. I'm going to come back and do these puzzles shortly. I've got a bit of an idea on what we might have to do. Nelly, it's bedtime. What are you doing out here in the cold? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I'd better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. Oh. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. Okay, we'll do that now. We're like, what, four and a bit hours in, and we're still just hanging around Hogwarts a lot. We don't even have a broom yet. This must be... Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Oh, Quite a what? few by the look of it. Oh, you've got to fill them all the way along. We've just got one token in. No way. I wonder what you get at the end of it. One of 16. Right. Uh Okay, well, we can go and wait for I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Is that the flu statue talking? Okay, what's this uh What's that quest? Secrets of the restricted section. I know I'm sort of sitting in the way. There's nowhere else on the screen I can really sit though. So um, you don't. If you if you want to know what that says, you can just ask me and I can read it to you. Really happy that uh, so far everything's going okay so far hello kitty oh wizard's chest did you see it on the table there oh the game just finished go that's cool. Right, that's enough kitties. Revelio. Nothing. Okay. So, what do we want? The library. Uh, oh, there's a chest there. What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Yeah, give me more. Well, I want more, more on gear. On to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. <laughs> Cheeky. Plumley's a bit naughty. Uh, where, where are we going here? Rebellion. It's like we have to be around that side, is it? Is it up here? Perhaps. What's wrong, little sister? Afraid of a serpent? 
can't catch me. <laughs> no, this is astrology tower. Is it not? I feel like I'm going past where I need to be. Ah, yeah, I was. Okay. I should have just hit my uh, charm. My charm compass. Oh man, I was way off. It's down below. Right. Good one, Ham. Love hearing that uh, music in the background. Professor Pig. As if my schedule wasn't congested enough with the ministry has charged me with... Uh, arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of the new student at Hogwarts at 50. If you can believe, Professor Weasley insists that they will need to escort a mentor to help them acclimatise before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please, Professor Weasley, uh, please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigelius Black, Headmaster. Okay. Wait till daytime. There we go. Ah, there you are. What do you mean? I was asleep on your floor. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. Good. So... Shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Yeah, it looks like you're on your that own feet. man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I could go I there. shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Okay. Talk to Sebastian. I thought we'd get a broom fairly early on. I was I was a long way off. We were a long way off. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Ooh. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Oh, Hogwarts seems quiet this morning. Oh, there we go. People everywhere. Revelio. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. Hey, I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So... Likely. Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, 
avoid Peeves the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Bloody Peeves. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Just sorting out Hanky, sorry people. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Right. Let's, um... Oh, this is it. Let's just check what we've got in our inventory, hey? Inventory? What have we got here? Are there the letters from Fig? Nothing in our base yet. I'm excited to check that stuff out. We've got some new gear. It's locked. It's too high a level for us. Cool. New gloves. That's it. Uh, and quest wise. Dandelion keys. Uh, we'll do this quest while we're here. Oh, wait, what? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, we could do this again. Okay. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Yeah, yeah, we got this. I've never even met him. If you say... Yeah, we can just skip through this. How can... Here tonight. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Good. I didn't think it would put us straight into the uh, cuts. Oh, damn it! I wanted to get that then. That cutscene. See there. That's we the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. Yeah, I'm better, better There's sneaky. a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Ooh. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Ooh, we're learning a lot of spells. That red thing's getting quicker and quicker. Nice. Uh... All right, very cool. First, Rebellion. Where is that flying book? Levioso. Accio. Fifteen of fifteen. No way. What do we get for that? Uh, it'll be under this. Only five percent of challenges are done. Holy moly. <laughs> no way. We gotta get one more back at Hogsmeade. Look at this hat. Oh no. Uh down here. Oh, it's just a skin.
Oh, no. Hogwarts regalia hat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll run it for a bit. Uh, okay, the spell. Do we have to equip it to our bar? Disillusionment. Okay. We must remain unseen. Oh, okay. Go. Nearby adversaries will uh, sense, then investigate. Suspicious behavior being caught by authority figures will result in quest failure. Okay. Stealth. How good's a stealth uh, mission? I can see you. The prefects might be able to as well. Shh. Okay. There'll be some kind of timing thing here, I assume. I should probably go while they got their backs to us, but I'm going to wait a sec just in case. Hello, Layton. How are you? Yeah, we're, we're going to be stealth with it, all right. I'm not going to throw a firebolt at them. Although that might do it. Hit them with the old firebolt. I go now. Hey, hey, hey. I am very, very sneaky. Still here. Gosh. Quick, behind the bookcase. Well, where do you think I'm going? Not my first radio champ. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Oh, of now, course it is. Here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. I'm surprised it's not around her neck. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Aloha Mora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti-Aloha Mora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my the word. key of mystery. Trust me. We shall get the key of restricted books. The heck was that? Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? The key. Here it is. That was easier than I thought. Hang on, which way is she heading? It's fooled me twice. <clears throat> Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Revelio. Oh, what's this book? Got to be something special with that one. Of course it's down. Is there anything down here before we go down? Oh, there's someone up there. And there's people downstairs too. This spell lasts a while. Okay. Ghost. Revelio. Where did that um vacuum? Uh, you didn't see anything. You've seen no Oh, oh, oh.
Quick, get out of here! Should be in the clip. There's no need for us to be skulking about. I'm gonna keep so what skulking. What is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Revelio. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given. Best to avoid these books if possible due to as much of their tendency to fly from one's hand as to their content being spectacular drivel. Of no educational value whatsoever. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. Ooh. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. I'm being awfully invisible. Five hundred galleons. Heck yeah. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Oh, look at this hand thing. Revenio. I didn't know the restricted area was so big and restricted. Ah, uh, no, wrong one. Cool. 25 of them we've got to get now. There was one upstairs that I missed. Revelio. Oh. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. I'm sleepwalking. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where's that damn ah, poltergeist got good to? Good tip, Gareth. So there's a, we've seen a few of those around, haven't we? This armor. We've got a new wand update. Okay, I've got to repair this, so I need to... Um, this one. Repair. Oh. Cool. Wait, is it still down further? No way. While the restricted area is really restricted. There's a lot to this place. Holy mother of ducks. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. Sorry, there's a chest here. Ooh, tartan classic school uniform. What? Where the heck are we? Oh, cool. We're getting some cool stuff. Where might this lead? Yep. Good, good pick up, Gareth. So we'll try that next time because we've seen a few of them around, haven't we? Those chests. There were a few in Hogsmeade as well. Where the heck are we? Right. Uh, are we going to need to use... Um... Accio. Or... Repair him. Ah. 
I need to wake up that rune over there. Incendio. Wake it up? How do we wake it up? Uh, just use the stock standard bolt. No friggin' way, man. Hogwarts is so good. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Guards at the ready? Look at this place. I didn't know I had it in me. Wow. We are powerful. All right, boys. I love being a wizard. This game is just the, the combat is so good. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or dank or taking damage. Successful 10 hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power ups. Okay, cool. Uh, when at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast devastating ancient magic attack that deal massive damage and breaking shields and charms. I've noticed. So that's ancient magic that we just got then. Rebellion. This game is just getting better and better. There's something over this way. All right, how do we get that? Accio. How do we get over there? I want to get over to there, though. Maybe it's something we do after. I don't want to run the risk of triggering the um, mission over and not being able to get back in here. Okay, what do we know so far about our spells? Rebellio. Wait. No, okay. Repairer. Incendio. How do I get that? Um... Ah. Maybe we go this way and it will work. Whoa, get back! Holy moly, we don't have time long to do that. Okay. No, I want to get that chest back there. This it's got to be a be trick to it. Forward, but to where? Repair. I tried repair. Repair didn't work. There's, uh, there had to be something to it. I knew it. I knew it. 
Oh, we only got brown leather, leather gut gloves for it. This game, I love the little hidden secrets and stuff around it. So there's none this way, is there? No. Okay. Well, hey, they were just gloves, but I'm glad we went and tried it anyway. So there's no secrets in this one. There is over there. I can see the path just there. Um, uh, what happens if I jump down onto that? Oops. Okay, I hope they weren't expensive. Incendio. Something to do with these towers, perhaps? Accio. Incendio. I don't think the di- I- You don't mean that thing up there. You mean shoot those di- They're not diamonds, they're windows. Yeah, that's part of the window. There's definitely a thing there. I'm just gonna, for science this, we'll do a save. I'm going to do this for science. Yeah, there's no other diamonds, is there? No. I don't, is that what you mean? They're not diamonds. They're just part of the window panes. Okay, for science. Wait, is there a what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's got to be something here. There's definitely a path down there. I think. Oh, oh, oh. Camera's moving a bit shaky. <laughs> ah. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, it fell off. Hang on. I may have just lost, I just lost the, uh, I just lost signal to the PlayStation. One sec. PlayStation just crashed. You still got me there? One sec. We'll sort this out. One second. Yes. PC, uh, the PlayStation just switched off. So it's just restarting now.
Good time for a bio break while it just shoots back up. Grab yourself a drink. I'm going to grab another Pepsi Max. I'm going to grab another Pepsi Max. I'm going to do this. Uh, one sec. I'll make sure this is all right. Just when we got to that room, it was like, nah, you're not getting to this room. <laughs> Classic ham, something always has to go wrong. At least this time it wasn't my capture software or any anything. It was actually just PlayStation having a conniption. Which is good because normally we lose the stream, but we don't lose the stream now. We just uh, have to do a restart. Hopefully we get a few of the other stragglers come in soon, uh, Gareth. PlayStation is just turning back on now. I wonder if it it didn't overheat. It's not hot or anything. No, it's not even hot or anything. Okay, hang on a sec. Just got to fire up the Elgato. I bet no other professional streamers are uh, having this trouble. Okay, hopefully, fingers crossed, this works. What's going on here? second I really don't know what's going on at the moment Hmm. <laughs> burn stuff down. You're a wizard. <laughs> yeah, I burn everything down. Ah, <laughs> oh, how good's a black screen too? Uh let me just fit that to screen. I tested this so much today and everything ran perfectly and now this. One sec. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to... You know, I thought to myself today, I better make a backup stream just ready. I might have to just restart the stream again. This is getting out of control. This, this whole streaming thing is just doing my head in how it's doing this constantly. Uh, let's have a look here for a sec. 
shall we? There's one other thing I've got to try first. Okay. One sec, gang. Be with you in a sec. <laughs> okay, let's go do a uh, a break and reconvene here back in five minutes when I got this sorted out, hey? Uh, I don't think I can do anything but restart Streamlabs. That's about it at the moment. Okay, let's do a restart, and I'll see you back here in... <laughs> I know, Josh. It's it's city skylines in Hogwarts again. Everything's burning down. You're going to stay with your trust of PS4? I... I don't think it was my computer or it was the PlayStation. I think it was the Elgato bit that bridges them. I think that's what just had a conniption. Uh, hang on a sec. I'll try a couple of more things. The only thing I think that's going to work is a restart of Streamlabs, which means... Okay, I'll see you guys back here in a couple of minutes. Um, so stay, come back, definitely come back, because I, I was really getting into that then with you guys. And Josh, just hang on. I'll be back on in just a sec. Okay, five minutes. I'm going to end the stream. I've got the other one ready to go, so you can go wait in that lobby already if you want. <laughs> 